All right, guys. Today I'm going to review Stuff Matters. Exploring the Marvelous Materials that Shape Our Man-Made World by Mark Meodownik. I'm not sure. Uh, you'll have to Google it. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, but this book, it's a very flashy book about stuff about materials. Um, I'm really interested in material science. Uh, anytime that I see like a documentary on materials, you know, I always uh, watch it and I get drawn in. But I've never really found a lot of good books about material science. They're all either really surface level or really like academic and technical and not easy to read or not. It's not easy to get the information I want from them. Uh, so when I saw this book, He's this guy, the author. He's got a, a series of books on on different subjects, but this book had good reviews, and so I was hoping that it would kind of bridge that gap. It would it kind of be a introduction to material science and lay a foundation and kind of get into some of the uh, the science behind materials. But what I found is that this book, I think, is uh, I think it's geared for a younger audience. It's not what I expected it to be. Um, it was interesting. And uh, there's some cool pictures and charts and stuff in it. But really, this book, it reminds me a lot of, what's it called, Freakonomics. And then it reminds me of Dan Ariely's books where each chapter will tell you about some interesting topic or subject. And it really will like pique your interest and bring you in. But then it'll just move on to another subject or another topic in the next chapter. And it never builds or never constructs like a, a, a framework for understanding the topic as a whole. It's just kind of a, a, a series of interesting ideas and, uh, that involve a topic. And so this book, like it goes through glass and, you know, coal and it hits a couple materials and it talks a lot about them. But, you know, it really doesn't get into chemistry or the, the physics behind materials and so it's not really, it's, it's not very informative in that manner. It's just some interesting tidbits about like six or seven different materials. And I enjoyed reading the book. I mean, it, it's fascinating some of the stuff that's in the book. But the book just doesn't cover enough of material science or get into the, you know, the physics enough to really inform you that much about what's really happening. Uh, so I found the book very surface level, very glossy, very, it's something that looks good on like a bookshelf, but you know, there's not a lot of, of real hard science in there to, to get, sink your teeth into. It just kind of piques your interest. And that's why I think this book is probably more for like parents that want to get teenagers into science or something like that. Or maybe someone who's interested in science, but doesn't know much at all and isn't really interested in knowing the, the details, but you know, this book, it was, it's almost like an appetizer. Like, it, it's flashy and it's its tasty. But when you're done, you're like, oh, I'm so hungry. Like, I did, that didn't satisfy me at all. And that's kind of how I felt after reading this book. Like, I enjoyed it. I think the audio book was only, like, five or six hours. It's really short. The physical book, it's also short, of course. Uh, and there's some pictures and stuff in it. But, I mean, there's not much to it. It's... It's not something that I think I would recommend for most people. I think if you're just like interested in the surface level of material science, then just go watch a documentary or something. You know, don't spend money getting a book. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's out there, maybe even like YouTube videos or something like that. Because uh, this book didn't have that much information. It didn't have that much science. And if you're interested in like the details... Uh, you know, the, the underlying science, then this book really won't have anything for you. So I'm not sure who this book is for, really. Um, it's not for me, though. It wasn't a real science-y book. It was a very fluff book. So I guess maybe if you have a couple hours to kill on a flight and it's at the little bookstore there uh, next to your gate, then pick it up and give it a read. Um, it'll be entertaining and interesting for a couple hours, but uh, for me, it just left me kind of unsatisfied. So I hope you guys like that review. I know this one's short. There's not much to this book. But uh, so pick it up and give it a read if you want. Uh, but
but I wouldn't spend too much money on it. So I hope you guys like this video. I've got more book reviews coming soon, so like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.